So we are trying something new today. YouTube videos. Um, it's gonna be hard to look at the camera in this direction, but I think that I will manage. Um, no filters, no fake <laughs> pretense of what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Um, and I am going to paint some more sample colors on the walls today. So you may have seen, uh, I have started to put things in the living room. So I am super happy with the way that this looks. Let me show you from up here, maybe. I need to get like a stick or a camera or something. So this is like our front door and it's kind of strange because it's actually the back door. So like this is where it is. I still haven't taken my uh, Christmas stuff down. <clears throat> but so like this is the back door of our home but we use it as the front door which causes quite the predicament because when you walk in, this is the view, it's all open. So there's the living room and then the kitchen is back there. And then coming this way, this was my mom's idea to put a table and chairs there. Um, and this is like also kind of the living room. And then like our bedroom is back there with the bathroom and then another room. So um, the trouble <laughs> is that this is all, it's really difficult to show but like this is all one room actually when you look at it all so it only makes sense now that I have looked at it more to continue the raspberry this way so instead of it just being in here it will continue this way and all the way around I think to over in here. This wall though, I'm gonna do like a purple. So it'll it'll kind of be like a dark purple, sort of similar to one of those. So you can see my decor. Don't worry, that's not a glass of pea, it's a glass of O straw <laughs> infusion. So you can see the colors. I was really nervous when I unpacked everything, but actually, um, I think that it, I think it goes super well. Um, the ceiling, I have to try out another color today. These are the two swatches that I put on the ceiling, and I don't think <laughs> that that was the right. Um, I think they're too yellowy and but what's interesting because paint is so fascinating is that I actually painted them over here too. They're the same ones here and here. Um, so it's really very strange. I think I just think they're wrong. So um, everything is a mess. But I thought maybe I would record as I paint the new samples today, which means that I'll have to put my phone on something. Okay. So first, <laughs> okay. First, I'm going to try out um, the two new green colors that I'm going to use, um, like mint, for the chairs. So this one is a lighter green, or mint, I should say, because that's what it really is. They're the same color swatch, um, just this is a lighter version of the other one. I'm sure you're not supposed to use the same brush, but I'm going to because it just seems like, why not? Oh no, this was not mixed very well at all. I feel like the paint can 
people at the paint store have gotten quite lazy when it comes to mixing up my samples because I have so many. Okay. I'm just going to use the same one. See, that really was not mixed very well at all. I think this one is definitely going to be more the move so far. We'll see once I do a second coat, but it seems like the more vibrant one feels like the move. Okay, now we have to rinse. Here we go. Just clean the brush off. This whole strange area is going to be cut out and replaced at some point. So that's why I rinsed the brushes in this sink because it doesn't matter. The sink's going to be thrown out. Okay, here we go. Another thing with the chairs is that I'm going to distress them. So once it's done, I'm going to like show you closer. I'm going to um, paint them and then like sand them. I don't know if I'll paint them myself. Maybe I will. Um, but also, maybe not. Okay, so how am I going to show you this? This room is like a tiny little inlet room. It's just like the front way to another door. We have been throwing all of our recycling in it, as you can see. But the hard part about this room is that it you can see through the raspberry room into it. So, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little sick. So whatever happens with the, um, whatever color this is, it has to work with raspberry. Okay, so let's see. So I did something that I didn't expect to do, which is I got a different shade of ras like raspberry blush, it's called, which is more orangey raspberry. It's almost like coral. And then I also got Adobe Orange, which is like pretty orange. And I think I want to use both these colors. Like I kind of want to use Adobe Orange on the walls and then raspberry blush on the door. Or who knows? Oh yeah, that is a definite winner, this color. I don't know if you can see it that well. Um, but it's really pretty and I think it'll be extra pretty with the, um, ras like with the raspberry. I don't think I like Adobe Orange as much. Maybe the ceiling should be Orange. I just can't decide. Okay, so here are the colors. It's so hard to tell on camera, but if we go now through this side, you should be able to see. Thing, adobe orange is on the bottom and the raspberry blush is on the top maybe we will do adobe orange and then do the door raspberry blush i like raspberry blush better maybe we do the ceiling raspberry blush but i kind of think this whole room should be the same color. I don't know. Before I was gonna do it purple, as you can see, um, but really that won't look very nice with the raspberry 
through the through the little panels. So I'll have to think about this one. But I don't know, even though raspberry blush is better, it might be nicer to have like a pop of color on the door instead of having this room be too bright. Like the room will be kind of darker and then the the pop will be the door. I think that probably is the move. Okay, yellows. So let me show you. Up here, I hope that my pot, you're going, I'm gonna put this down behind the um, stove, but I have something boiling on the stove. So hopefully um, it's not too loud, but basically let's see here. I tried these colors and they're all wrong. They're all, um, they're like too green. I don't know if you can really tell, but they're too, they're, the yellow color is not right. It's too like greenish of a yellow. So I'm gonna try, I got a bunch more samples to try. They haven't all arrived yet, all of the colors. Mm -hmm. But, um, I have four of them today. They said it was going to take longer. This one is golden honey. I don't even know if you can see. There is actually one right here. But it's, like, really pale. And it's, like, green. Like, it just can't really be... It can't have any undertones <coughs> of blue, really, with this orange wood. Like, I didn't realize how wrong it would look but it looks really wrong. This looks a bit more promising. So this one's called Golden Honey. This is already so much better. Can you tell? I wonder if you can tell from there. This looks way, way, way nicer. The colors that I actually ended up having to choose have like almost like rust tones underneath. Like I had to get away from the actual yellow and go more into like gold and um, yeah, like darker orange-ish, like brown. This one's a lot lighter. Oh yeah. That's kind of nice too. I guess this would be quite dark. Like this one is not as dark, but this one still has a bit of green almost in it. Thank you. Golden honey, gold tone. So I rinse my brushes again. I should have just gotten like 13 rolls. Okay, two more to go. And then the ceiling color we can test out too. This one's called mannequin cream. <coughs> and I imagine it's going to be really light. Yeah, this doesn't look great at all, really. This is almost white. This is like a really, really, really off-white. That's not it. Something like that. I don't know, though. That first one might be a bit too dark. I don't know if I can make the whole... Oh, my light is home. I'm making a YouTube video. Yeah. Do you want to say hi in it? Can you right now? Yeah. This one's called corn silk. Not every single thing you want. You did? Yes. Even the lemongrass? Yes. I did not know if Dora was going to be able to get lemongrass. This one's too blue, too. I didn't know what lemongrass was, but I got it. Did you have to ask? No, it was, well, somewhat. It was labeled, but I still asked, I was like, is this lemongrass? And I was holding it, and she was like, yes. I was like, okay. That's so cute. That's you didn't nice. say how many, so I got three. That's a lot of lemongrass. Uh, basil. You only really need one lemongrass for like a whole soup pot. I figured, but they were like pennies. So well, was... that's okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make more things with the lemongrass. I got extras. I wonder if you can freeze lemongrass. So these are my 
some yellow options. Do you like any of them? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Jordan's a little colorblind. The top ones. Top two on the left. No, those are the ones that don't go. Those are the ones. <laughs> those are the ones I did last time. I was just kidding. They're a little too like bright. Yeah, they definitely are. I knew that. I got two <laughs> red, red curry paste because they last for over a year, so I thought I got to back up. Amazing. Thank you. And can I show you? Speaking of your story, I got this. Oh shit! Is that the same thing? Yes. It's just like a different, pay yeah. no attention to this thing. The old owner made this himself. And so maybe we will paint that or something and fix the bottom. Cool. Yeah, I remember Ben and Shay were like, oh, I've never seen it in a squeeze tube. Because they won't, oh. the Western Canada apparently only gets it in the glass jar. But we got it in a squeeze tube? Yeah. Because I went to get another one that said it only ships to Ontario and Quebec. Eastern provinces, but I mean, this is a backup for after this one. Cool. Have a much longer shop life. Great. So I don't know. Do you think that bottom left one is going to be too dark? No. Too dark. In all of here, it might be too dark. Okay, we're gonna do the ceiling. Jordan's gonna help me because he's very tall. The ceiling, the new color is called Swiss coffee. So that's vanilla ice cream and that one is mayonnaise. This is much whiter. This doesn't look like they put any tint. I don't know if this is right. Those scoundrels. I know it's a white, but This looks pretty white uh -huh. compared to, okay, go ahead, but not on top of it. Yeah, next to it. Yeah. Okay, well now it doesn't look as white, I guess. It looks so yellow on that ceiling, doesn't it? Thanks, I'm patient. You're a better painter than me. Uh, Good I mean, job. I wasn't going to say it, but... Thank you. Welcome. All right. Promising? Promising. Do you want to do more? Is that it? No, or that's it for now, because we'll have to do a second coat to really see. So it's, it's a bit of like a gray white. What color is it? Well, it has cream in it. Oh. I hope it's not too gray. It's know. supposed to be white with some cream. Okay. I'm really struggling with the ceiling color because up here it looks so much darker than over. Yes. Will you hold this for a sec? Because, like, look, this one looks so different mm -hmm. on here than it does over there. Mm -hmm. But this wall and the ceiling are going to be the same color. Here it looks really white. It doesn't look gray at all. I don't know. Could you help me with one more thing really quick? Mm -hmm. Then I'll just go right to the baby room. And I'll just try out this, this yellow. And I'll say, don't mind us using this room as a closet. If you show the walls, so you can show this wall. Couldn't have been for it. Maybe it is for this room. This one's more orangey though. This kind of looks like a better color for the kitchen. If you get what I'm doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh. Let's let's try it in the kitchen. Mm. Okay. 
All right. You can pause. You can stop it. <sighs> to be completely honest, I don't know if I want to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> I can't decide. I have been in such a strange spot. Maybe it's not even strange, but just like a new spot of feeling like getting ready to be a mom. We haven't started trying to get pregnant yet, but it feels like maybe one day soon we'll start trying. And I've been really questioning and wanting to let go of this wanting I've had to like be a star, like be a thing. Um, like I have my whole coaching business and even though I loved coaching and there's so many parts of it that I really enjoyed and felt like I was quite good at, there was also always this way that I, like I think that I, when I first did my coaching training, I really just did it for me and when I feel into, like, what is most important to me, really, I've always known that it's been my writing. And it's not to say that I, like, can't do the other things. Um, I mean, I've done so many different things in my life, and... <sighs> In Jordan's community that we built, like I'm holding workshops in there and that's super fun for me. But I guess I feel like I have this idea that like There's a way that, like, to show up as just me, like, it's just this. <laughs> like, this is the truth of what is existing in my life. It is a mess right now, this house. My hair has not been washed in five days. I have no desire to make, like, flashy content at all. Sometimes, <coughs> like, I can make other types of content and things that are, like, useful and teach about things. But it's not really where my heart is. And I've been in this interesting place of like, I have let go of my business, like my coaching business, really just my business, pretty much. And... At a really crazy point because I finally like had everything that I wanted to have. Like I was making the money I wanted to make and I was like, I don't think that this is really me. Like I think that there are certain things that I know are me. Like when I wake up and write 
my memoir every morning. I'm like, this is me. Like, this is just like, if I were to die in a year, Jordan always knocks on wood and he says things like that. I think that I would, I wouldn't be like, oh, thank God I coached the whole time. But I would be like, thank God I wrote. Like today, I was like, I'm going to make a video while I paint. But also, I'm sick and I haven't showered. I guess I have a story that, like, I shouldn't, like... It should be nicer. I'm going to make videos. Maybe I should shower first. <laughs> but like. I don't know. And there is this deeper way that if I detach what people think from my life, then I feel like everything, like I have every, like, I'm just like, wow, everything is perfect. I like get to decorate the house with all these things and it's super fun and I get to just like buy all the pretty things and decide on the design for each room and I'm making it so colorful and that's so fun and I'm like helping Jordan which is super fun for me too because I get to teach little workshops here and there and I get to help him behind the scenes with like design and ideas and stuff that I'm really good at. And it feels like I get to, like I, I think I've just always been an artist more than I've been a coach. Even though I can do a number of things. And that's why, like, I'm leading a retreat um, in May, and I've been thinking about the retreat, and, like, why is it that I still want to do the retreat? Like, I feel really excited about the retreat. I've never doubted that for a second, even with my business going through so many changes, and I'm like, I want to do another retreat, and... <clears throat> I was talking to Jordan about it, and I was like, well, I think that the retreat to me actually feels like art. Like, it feels similar to decorating our home. It's like curating an experience and sharing my joy and just being like, let's cook together, like, let's do, like, Let's just be in life together. And I have so many ideas of just like little things that I want to add and do. And like that just feels like so much fun. It's like the same way I want to like have fun decorating our living room. Like I want to create an experience for people to come and get to experience this island and um, this group of women. And I just think it will be really special. And my podcast is really fun. But some days I'm just like, should I just shut off the whole internet? <laughs> And just, like, live my life without 
the internet. I thought that this morning. I was like, maybe I'll just like take a break. But I've taken a break so many times. And at the end of the break, I always return. Like, I always come to this place where I'm like, I do like it. Jordan often says, when I say things, and Jordan says, the internet was made for you. <laughs> because I want to know everything. And I've been making reels, which is what made me think about doing YouTube. Because reels are fun enough, but... I don't know. I just thought maybe I would have more fun with, like, more extended video. And there's something that I really like. <clears throat> like, I think I'm separating away from... Like, I'm not trying to grow my business by doing YouTube. Because I'm not really, like doing my business anymore <laughs> like my living room feels very like me I just feel very like I want to just do like a lot of different artsy things and I want to have babies but then I'm like do I want to really record my life but then there is something in me that has always felt so drawn to recording since I was very little So I don't know. Maybe this will just be one of one YouTube videos. <clears throat> or maybe I will just very periodically do YouTube videos or who knows. Who knows, who knows. It also feels really nice to document the process of this house. Like, look at the ceilings. I don't know if you can see. Like, the ceilings are cracked everywhere. Everything in this house. Like, every single thing needs repair. Today I pulled in. I went for a walk. I was so sick yesterday, I didn't move off the couch. And today I was like, I felt like walking around. And I went for a walk outside. And I came back and I was sitting in my car. And it was parked. <gasps> I was looking at the house and I was really looking at it. I was looking at these buckets of poop <laughs> that are sitting on the side from the old owners when they were composting their poop and they just left it here. We haven't been able to get rid of it because we have to call. We can't just throw it out. We have to call, like, the septic people to pump it out and then throw it out. And, um, I was just really looking at it all and, like, the paint is all run down and, like, so many additions to the house like if you really look at them closely it's like is that really okay and the ceilings and the paint and just like everything like the windows will off to be replaced we're replacing the doors like all this stuff and I was just like I can't believe like how did we manage to fall in love with this house like how is this the one that we fell in love with and because we had sworn that like we would not get a house that required any work and then here we are in like the complete opposite like the house that requires so much work and just as I was thinking that a bald eagle flew and landed right on the top of the tree in our backyard where it lives 
and it just started making its sound. And I don't know if you know eagle sounds, but they go like, ooh. They're like, like they kind of sound like horses. And I was just like, yeah, right. Like, that's why. Because it is so, like, it's so magical feeling. But it's just like, of course, this is the one that we fell in love with. And I do love it so much. But it's just like, man, there's a lot to do. I want to get rid of this fan, too. I want them to just, like, cover it up. Let's go check on my curry. Oh, my gosh. It's so, you can't even tell. The windows have all fogged up from my cooking. Alright, let's turn these off. Let's look at the curry. Hold on, I have to. Oh, right, I forgot I put the chicken. Oh my gosh. Real life. Here's the sink. <laughs> Everything is a mess. <laughs> look at all of this. We're gonna, um,. This cabinet has nothing in it to the side of the fridge. We're going to have our contractors build um, shelves in there. And then all of this stuff can go on the shelf and it will get out of the way. And then hopefully it will we'll have a lot more space. And my mom got me this really nice, huge cutting board. Um, that I'll be able to put next to the <laughs> here. There's my curry. <clears throat> so I completely made this up. Um, let's try it. I basically put like a Thai curry paste. Uh, well, in, in coconut oil, I cooked eggplant and yellow pepper. And then I put in some curry paste and coconut milk. Did I say that I cooked the eggplant in coconut oil? And then I put on this chicken that I cooked yesterday. A little lemongrass. At first, I put a whole thing of lemongrass in, and then I thought... Maybe that's the wrong move. Maybe that's way too much. <clears throat> Something's not quite right, but I don't know. Maybe it just needs more salt. I think that's what it is. I wish that I had fish sauce. We don't have any my hair it's just like well, <laughs> it really needs to be washed all right let's see here I have no idea what time it is oh no <laughs> That's way too salty. What a terrible mistake. Well, <clears throat> well my coconut milk is gone. What to do? Let's put the mushrooms in. They don't have any salt. Those the mushrooms I've been boiling because apparently boiled mushrooms are better for you. When you boil them for a couple hours, it gets rid of some sort of something in it. So 
just thought I was just using a spoon. I don't know how I managed that. Way too much salt. I'm not sure what to do. I could pour in more coconut milk. This is such a pain. Let's see. <clears throat> could pour in more milk and then I could put in more chicken. It's not the end of the world. Just a lot of coconut milk. Curry peas and more chicken. It is actually pretty good. It's just that it's gonna be quite fatty. I'll just pour in the rest of the bone broth too because why not? We're just you know we're just pouring everything in now. <laughs> this will definitely help with the saltiness. For sure. Now we'll add in all this chicken. Maybe we'll have to freeze some of this. Ignore my rash. <clears throat> I had really bad eczema. That is now going away, but now the color of it is still there. Okay, let's see. Now this is almost a whole chicken. This is a lot, okay. The problem is that that's definitely gonna boil over, so I shouldn't cover it. I'll just turn it up a little. <clears throat> okay, I think that's where we'll end. Curry is being made. We'll see if I make any more YouTube or if this is my one fray. I never put the sauce back in the fridge. The paint colors are drying. I have to do a second coat still though. So maybe I'll do an update if I remember tomorrow when the second coat is done okay bye